Hi often, this is Ryan here and I'm just going to be making you a short video about the draw runners that you requested and we're going to be addressing where to put the holes and what size screws you need. Do you need to pre-drill the holes for your screws and a few other questions you've asked. So here we go. So the runners that you show me were the GTV versions. These particular runners are 13.5 millimeters thick this way, so you need to allow 27 mil in total when fitting your drawer. So for example, if you've got a opening of one meter and you need to fit a drawer within that space, then minus off 27 mil, giving you 973. So that would be the size of your drawer. So now you're gonna have to split your runner apart. So pull it open. On the back, you've got a little lever, push it down and pull the two parts apart. On these, these are slow close runners, so you're gonna have to push this tab in to let this part in, and you do that on both sets. On yours, which are push release, you probably won't have to do that, but we'll do that on both parts. There we go. And now we're ready to mark out the holes. <laughs> So next you need to know where to put this part of the runner, which goes onto your carcass, and this part of your runner, which goes onto your drawer. So this part is 22 mil thick or wide, and this part is 44 mil. We ultimately want this runner to fit flush with the bottom of our drawer, so it looks nice, looks nice. So we need to find the center line of this runner, which is 22 mil up. So what we're gonna do is I'll put a bit of masking tape on this drawer, mark 22 mil, get my combination square, set that up to 22 mil. There you go, and we'll do that on both sides. So we're gonna pick up the smaller part of the runner, which is the part that goes onto the drawer. And we're gonna to need to know where we're gonna fix these onto the drawer. So this part of the runner needs to be completely flush with the front of the drawer. And if you're using drawer runners that are slow close or push release, you need to get them exactly the same on this part and on the part that goes onto your carcass. If they're slightly out, they're not gonna click in properly and they're not gonna work properly. What we're gonna do is go for this hole here. We're gonna go for these horizontal holes. One at the front, one in the middle, one at the back, and that should be plenty. And so what we're gonna do is take that off, turn it around, measure from the front, get our tape measure to the center of the hole. Then we've got 34, 163, and 290. So we're just gonna go onto our drawer and I've already marked them on. 34, 163, 290. So now you should have three crosshairs to which your screws are gonna be fixed. And what you're gonna need to do is get yourself three mil drill bit. Before you start pre-drilling, what I'd suggest you do is get yourself a bradle or a sharp point. Put it on your crosshair, but give it a little push to mark it. You do that on all three, okay? And what that's gonna do is help you to get your drill bit started so it doesn't skate around, it finds the exact location straight away. If you're unsure of how deep to drill it, get yourself a bit of masking tape, put it on your drill bit, and all I suggest is, because what we're drilling into is 18 mil, and that's what I suggest you use at least 18 mil, put that on your drill bit, and I'm gonna say about eight mil or so. We don't wanna take out too much meat because these screws are quite small and we wanna keep a bit of strength and a bit of a bite still. If we pre-drill it too much, then that screw's not gonna have much bite and we're gonna just pre-drill that until the masking tape hits the drawer itself and do that to all three. And the screws that you're gonna be using are 420s. I've actually got a box of 425s. Can't be bothered to go into the um, shed to get, get a box of 420s. Even though the drawer itself is 80 mil thick, these are still fine, we use these all the time. So I'd suggest getting your own screws because the screws that they give you are always a bit crap. They're always soft metal and you don't want to round them off when you're screwing them in and they're not gonna give you a nice bite. You want some good proper wood screws. These ones I'm using are single thread wood screws that you can buy anywhere, tool station, screw fix, Amazon, all that sort of stuff. I can put an Amazon link up for you if you like. Once you've got your holes, put your runner back on, line it up, make sure it's flush. And what you then do is get your screw and just tighten it, maybe just for yourself because you're a beginner, use a screwdriver rather than a drill to tighten those screws up so you don't over tighten them. But just make sure you get it flush, completely flush to the front of the drawer. 
Okay, so that's the first part of the draw runner. Second part, okay, so now we're on the fatter part of the runner. So we need to know where this goes in relation to the carcass now. And ultimately we have gone for the runner being completely flat and flush with the bottom of the draw. So let's remember that and let's just pretend this is the side of the carcass. So imagine that was a carcass side. We need to know where the bottom of the drawer is. Remember the bottom of the drawer is the bottom of the runner. So let's just allow a 20 mil gap, okay? So we're gonna remember a 20 mil gap. So what we need to do is work out the center of this runner. Knowing that this is 44 mil, the center of this runner is 22 mil, okay? So we're gonna add that onto our 20 mil gap at the bottom, giving us 44 mil. So let's mark on 44 mil. Combination square. Set that up to your line and mark that on. This part is going to be completely different in relation to the whole distances than the smaller part. Get my pencil and my tape. So I'm going to measure the first one. 25. Transfer that over to my line, giving us a crosshair. Second one. 183. So we're going to transfer that over. Again, giving us another crosshair. And last one, which is 340. So we've got our three holes. Three should be more than enough. If you've got a massive draw, there's no harm in just marking out a few more holes. You can just fill all these holes up. One, two, three, four, five, if you really wanted to. First, you use your thumb, get it onto the point, give it a good old push in, okay? Again, use your finger, push that in. And what that's gonna do is get you started with your pre-drill. So now we've already got this marked out. We're going to pre-drill down to the masking tape. So keep your drill nice and straight. So now all we need to really do to fit this on is line it back up. And that should line up perfectly. Maybe you need to slide that out of the way. Get it flush at the front here. Okay, so that needs to be flush. And you can see your hole there. And you can see your hole there too. So all we need to do is get our drill. You know, I haven't got the right screws, but the 420s, all you'll need to do is put your screws in those holes. Again, use a screwdriver. Don't use a drill if you're a beginner. So use your own screws, buy some screws, some wood screws. Don't use the ones in the packets. Three screws will do on something, you know, a drawer which is only maybe two foot big. Otherwise, you can always put more in, four or five screws. I hope that helps. Just send us any more questions if you need more help. Ciao.